Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf. Today we're going to be talking about dependency injection in GameMaker Studio, which is a pattern designed to greatly reduce our code, reuse and also uh, improve the general quality of our code. So before we get into what it is exactly, let's talk about a small uh, example where we may have three different enemies which each will move and interact with the world in the same way. And so that means they can each share the same code. Now that same code would sometimes call on other functions to make decisions, for example, what direction to go in. Now, it makes sense to think that each of our different objects may want to have different decisions. The problem is that our single movement code can really reference only one script. So one solution may be to duplicate that code and use one for each object, referencing each of the different decision-making code. However, this means a lot of code duplication and it's very poor maintainability. There has to be a better way. What we really want to have ultimately is a single behavior script that can call on any script to make decisions. This is where dependency injection comes in, it allows us to decide what script to use at runtime rather than compile time. In GameMaker, this can actually re really be easily achieved using script execute. And if you've been using GameMaker for uh, at least a small amount of time, you've probably seen code using that already. However, today we're going to be talking about a couple ways to use that, which uh, not everyone may have considered before. For instance, uh, we can use it on scripts by passing them as uh, as parameters. So here we have a small example where we may want to generate a random number that is also valid. Now what counts as a valid random number? Well, this code here doesn't really care about what a valid number is and that is exactly the point. What happens is that you would instead pass in a script which does know what a valid number is and then this script would then uh, keep generating random numbers until that script tells it it is correct. So as you can see the code here uh, first takes in the arguments, which is first the validator, which is the script which defines what valid numbers are, then a lower and upper bound, and then has a do until loop, which keeps generating random numbers between the range, and it will stop once script execute returns true, and script execute takes in the validator script we passed in and the number we just generated. So the way you would use this is to first create a validator script. So here we have a script called is even, which returns true if the passed in number is even. And then we have below how we could actually use that. So as you can see, say var number equals random valid, and then the validator script is, is even, and then we're given the bounds of 0 and 10. So this will give us a, a random number which is even. Now granted, this may not be the most efficient way to do it, but it does demonstrate the use of dependency injection with scripts in GameMaker. So what about objects? Because this is the second way you can think about dependency injection, and that is uh, giving objects or instances different scripts to work with, which w is what you would have to use to solve the problem I described at the beginning of this video. Now, uh, the really easy way to do this is simply to pass in the script as a variable, which can then be used inside the events or scripts, etc., using script executes like usual. Now what's really nice about this is that you can actually set the values in the creation code in the room editor, which allows you to really define different behavior based on different rooms, which is a really nice and flexible way to do things. Now if you'd like an example of this, you can check out my previous live stream where I talk about cloning Pac-Man and uh, actually have some example code. Now let's have a look at a couple more examples on this. Here we have one which will allow us to call a script on an array of objects. So it will go through uh, the array of objects and then call script executes with that object, uh, with each of the objects in the array. So this can be really nice if you have, say, a list of enemies which you want to uh, damage or heal or maybe move or delete and so on. Another example, a bit more complex, may be integration uh, of a function. So you could pass in a function as a script and then give it some bounds and an accuracy value and it will then uh, loop through it and sum up all of the um, values it calculates with that script and returns that sum. So this is uh, useful maybe if you're doing physics uh, or maybe you want to uh, do other um, yeah, it, it, math, mathematical integration and calculus. Now, how will this change in the future? Because GameMaker 
uh, Gamecast creator Yoyo Games have um, talked about changes they were uh, thinking of, and on the roadmap they included uh, inline scripts, which actually would make a huge difference the way we use these. Uh, this means we no longer have to uh, define our scripts inside the uh, inside different resources. Rather, we could define them in the same code in line directly. So here I have a, show, a small example of what it could look like. Uh, as you can see, directly as an argument, we can have um, the script defined. Now, this may or may not be the way this is going to work. Uh, we won't know until it's actually implemented. Uh, the second change they have talked about was uh, changing to how you could have to score scripts. So right now, you can use script executes if your script is stored inside a variable. However, this is kind of a mess, and so they did talk about uh, allowing you to call it directly on the variable, like shown on the slides. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give this video a like and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys next time for some more GameMaker tutorials.